Hi guys, so I'm gonna do the demo I did in class for those who miss, miss the class. So I have here is a capacitor. You see it's, um, so it's made of two electrodes. So two conductors and in between them, you have an insulator. So this one will be charged positively. This one will be charged negatively. So the idea is to store charge in an, an energy inside the electric field and it can hold the charge even though it's not connected and then it can burp out the, the charge very quickly or very slowly so that's the idea of a defibrillator so i just want to show you a demo here it says i don't know if you can see but it says it's upside down but it says five volt so it's a, it's not a dangerous one because it cannot be charged uh, with a higher voltage on five volts, so it's very safe. So even if it's uh, um, discharging in my hand, I'm not going to get too much current because the voltage is so small. And here you have one farad, so that will be the capacitance. It's going to give me how much charge I can store for those five volts, right? So here I have a USB. So USB um that i cut at the end so it's gonna that means i can use my power supply my laptop as a power supply of five volt right the usb always give you five volts so i'm gonna connect to my computer here and i'm just showing you with my voltmeter that i'm gonna have five volt just making sure See, if, I don't know if you can see upside down, but I read five volt. It's very safe. I can touch them, you know, the current will be very small. So it's absolutely not dangerous. It might fry your laptop though. So you have to be careful. Now I'm going to connect those, the power supply to the capacitor here. And that means the capacitor here is going to be also at five volt and it's going to store charges, right? So it's, it's increased from zero to five. So now it's charged. So now I'm disconnecting. I'm going to disconnect the capacitor from, I should not touch it with my hands, not to discharge it, but I'm disconnecting. You see the USB. Okay, so now it's holding my five volt and it's holding the charge. It's ready to burp out its energy into a load. Here I have my load, it's a light bulb. And I'm gonna connect the light bulb to the capacitor. You can see it's first it's gonna be very bright and little by little, it's going to decrease in uh, brightness. So first it's going to be very bright and then the current flowing is going to decrease as a function of time. It's, ex it's, it's actually an exponential decay. And now it takes, it's like a phone discharging. First it's discharged very quickly and then it takes forever to discharge. Okay. So I'm not going to wait to be discharged all all the way, but you can, I don't know if you can see, but the light is uh, very uh, uh, dim, but it's still there. Okay, so I did that in class. I'm gonna put that on the side. And then something else, I bought a plasma ball, and it's quite interesting because you power it by a USB. So that means it's a five volt power supply. So I'm going to connect that to my laptop. Hopefully I'm not going to fry it. I'm going to turn it on. No, if you can see, but you see here, interestingly here, you're going to have 1000 volt. So you go from five volt to 1000 volt. And so very interesting. This is done by a Tesla coil, which was uh, designed by Tesla, who was a genius. 
And it's very interesting because it's done with DC current, right? So I have DC, I don't have AC. And the way it works, you have a capacitor inside that will uh, hold the charge, burp out the charge in the primary coil that will um, induce current in the secondary coil. So you're going to have a step up in voltage. So that's how I get here. I get a very high voltage. So I, I like this demo because you can visualize the electric field live. Okay, you can visualize electric field. You see that close to the source here, um, the lines are close to each other. So that means the electric field is very strong. And farther away, the lines move away from each other. So it gets weaker. So what's happening inside is that you have a breakdown of the electric field. The plasma inside gets ionized and you have a path for electrons. Okay, so electrons are moving from here, the, the voltage here to there. Or the charge, let's say this is positive. So imagine these are charged moving up to here. And when I touch it here, you see that it's much, I don't know if you can see it, but it's, uh, um, the line are stronger because the, the current actually is flowing from my finger, from my body into the ground. But because the, the voltage has been stepped up so much and there is conservation of energy, that means the current has to be very small. Remember that power is voltage times current. So if the voltage goes up, the current has to go down. So it's totally safe to touch it, right? Even though it's at 1000 volt. And I want to convince you that it's at 1000 volt because here I have a fluorescent light, uh, a tiny one, which is convenient since the plasma ball is also tiny. And I want to show you that, I don't know if you can see it, but with a black, black background, you see that um, it's actually lit. I don't know if you can see the, the contrast is hard, but you, it's actually lighting up. So if I put that. See, it's lighting up. If I put my hand here and I try to touch the ground more, you see I'm making light. Isn't that amazing? So what does it mean? It means those things work with very high voltage. So it means that between the glass and my hand, there is a voltage, an electric potential. Uh, a, a potential difference of a thousand volt about, right? My current is at, my hand is at zero. This is a thousand. So because you have a voltage difference, the electron inside the tube are able to move from and one end to the other one. And, um, and that's why you, you, you can turn on the light bulb. So that's what we did. So of course it's better if you can come in person 